one of the main products we released this year was the Quantzer drone as part of the Autonomous Vehicles Research Studio. As we were developing uh, the various controllers to really augment and facilitate the different research applications you could do with the drone, we quickly realized that we needed um, a mechanism like this gimbal that you see over here that I could exercise the different motions of the drone while keeping it even more safe than our, um, our AVRS studio allowed. Uh, the drone is designed to be very crash resistant and very safe, um, you know, crash proof if you will, but it always helps to, especially when you're getting started, if you want to do some model predictive or model based control development to uh, restrict some of its motion. And what the gimbal allowed us to do is step by step, I could allow for multiple degrees of freedom to run. So what you're seeing on my screen is as I uh, move this drone back and forth, I'm actually using the estimators on board the, um, with, with some common filtering and complementary filters to actually predict the angle that the drone is at. And as you can see, that's my drone on the bottom. Um, so that very quickly allowed us to tune the, the inner um, stability controllers of the drone. Um, we, what we still didn't have and what we were lacking was a more model-based approach to actually closing the loop um, within the space. So our Autonomous Vehicles Research Studio usually um, flies in a, in a fairly large um, indoor space allowing you X, Y, and Z motion. Um, but before getting to the ability to tune the, uh, the drone's controller in the position of that space, we wanted to have the ability to to uh, rapidly prototype the different approaches to that. So what we did over here and what I'll show you in a few minutes is now that I have the drone measuring its actual orientation and have the stability um, fairly well ironed out on the gimbal, I can then develop a model of how this drone would operate based on its orientation and stability in, its, in that reference frame in the general inertial reference frame. And based on that model, I can then start tuning my controllers and have it fly in a uh, predictive fashion before we actually take it off the gimbal and fly it into space itself.